I was very suicidal in the beginning and now I'm, yeah, I want to live, I want to show people my story, I want to, I want to, yeah, I want people to look at me and admire my scars because they're a work of art, they're, they're my own tattoos and if people don't like it then seriously, do one. <laughs> Dirty God is about a young mother who was involved in an acid attack. It shows how she tries to live her life and get back into normality. She is a young mother and she tries to find ways to disguise herself, to have a good relationship with her mum, but it fails. So yeah, I don't want to say too much about it because you need to go and see it to, to understand it. The first idea came to me when I saw a young woman at a music festival. She was severely scarred and I looked at her and I looked away and I saw everyone around her doing the same thing. And I thought this woman deals with this every single day of her life. She can never hide from it. She goes out, goes to the grocery store and people are going to stare at her. So she stayed with me for a long time. And I was working in London at that time and I was interviewing young burn survivors there. And then I heard about these acid attacks happening and there are about 480 each year in London alone. So if you're not beautiful for me, then you cannot be beautiful for anyone, so I will destroy you. I immediately thought this is a very important topic. I want to make a film about this. Straight from the beginning, I thought I want Jade to be played by a real burn survivor, somebody who really has scars. I was casted uh, for a documentary a few years ago. Because I got bullied a lot in school and college, um, I agreed to do it to say basically a big fuck you to, to everyone and this is me. Um, and they completely humiliated me on TV. They told me a week before it went on TV, oh, it's going to be called Too Ugly for Love, thanks for playing a part. The documentary was a dating programme for people with disabilities. Um, I'm gay, they put me on blind dates with boys. One of the boys who was on a date with me was also gay. Yeah, a few years after that, uh, I was asked to do Dirty God and I said no completely straight away because of my past experience on TV. So Lucy Pardy, the casting director, she came, to, she came to me on my social media. So it took her a whole year to try and get a hold of me and convince me to do this role. The thing that convinced me to play Jade was I was going to play a, a completely made up character. I wasn't going to be my own life. She gave a lot of herself and her emotions to Jade. But I'm glad I made the movie because it's helped me. It's helped me overcome, it's helped me accept myself. And I also got this tattoo, um, which is in the movie. It was fake in the movie, so I got it done after. Well, we are also thinking about <coughs> making another film together. I would love to uh, carry on acting, and yeah, I would love to write a book about how my own experiences and to give other people hope and strength. The message I want to give to people is don't give up and being different is okay. I mean people like me, people who look different, we're, we're the cool people. Vicky, please stop. <laughs> <laughs>